Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to show you how you can create a navigation form using the wizard. So on the create button, if I click on create, you have in the forms area, this option here, navigation. So if I drop that arrow down, you've got all of these different layout styles, if you like, that you can select from. I'm gonna go for all the basic one at the top there, horizontal tabs. And then you get a form and it says add new. So basically what you can do with your forms and reports is just drag them on where it says add new and it will just put that form or report in that position. So if I just do another one. So there's two different forms, feedback details, customer. If I get a report, I'll go for a customer report. I can just drop that in there like that. and then. Drag another one up there, like so. So that's just a parameter query, so I'll need to finish that one up. So you end up with a, a form like that, that you can then save and have a look at, and then that's how it would look. So it's like tab controls, really, but you're very quickly creating that. So I'll just cancel that one off. Now, I'm, just, I'm not going to save that one. I'm going to close that one down and create a different type. So if I go Create Navigation, one of the other options down here is left and right, horizontal and vertical bars. So if I click on this one, what you can do here is where it says add new at the top, if I just double click on that, you can type title. So if I put products in there, what I can do then is just add um, products. Now it's picked up the table. So if I type at the top there, I just double click product. Now I can add down this left hand side anything to do with products. So if I go and pick up one of these, that one there, that form there, I can just add that there. And there's a, a little product list. Sales I might want to add there. That's under there, it's under products. Now if I click on this one, and put customer customer same process so now you can't see the products because it's under that tab so this is the title here so anything to do with customers form customer details i can add there like that and then it drops that in and whatever else um i don't know what that is but let's just put that there as well so that just builds that up what I could do is click on add new and then just drag one of these into there, add new, and then that becomes the form feedback and you can see it there. And you've got still got this options there. So if I put something else there, I put, um, let's see if I can put product there. I might already have product. So it's same sort of thing. You've got feedback and then you've got product and that's jumping between the two. So on that one, you've got these two. On that one, you've got those two. On that one, you've got just that one. If I put a report there, add new, like so, and then another report there, like that. It's very easy to build this up. That's a parameter query I've used there, so I'll come off that one. And then come on to products. So back onto that. So you just quickly build this up and then you can save this. Now, what you've got to be careful of is queries, for example, if I or tables even. If I go to products and I want to add new there, watch what happens. It doesn't add it as a tab, it just adds it above, which is not a bad thing. You can do that. You could add uh, add customers, for example, add new, and it just sh it shifts the customers up to the top there, and you can, you can click on those customers, and you can see um, the information about that customer. It depends what you want to do, but I don't think that looks great, to be honest. So I'm going to delete these off. I'll just do undo, control Z, and control Z to get rid of that one. So that's all I want to talk about in this little video, how you can use the wizard to create your navigation form, as opposed to doing it yourself with the main menu option that I did on a previous video, which was this one, where you could just create your own buttons. It's totally up to you which way you want to do it. This one's quite quick. I'll give it that. 
um, but it has got issues with it as well. But hopefully that's enough information for you to get going with it. And thank you for your time. I'll catch you on the next one.